my tears and sweats. Have that ever occurred to you? If you're a C or C++ programmer, you have probably encountered a segmentation fault. A segmentation fault is a memory access violation caused by a program attempting to access an illegal memory location. There are many causes of a segmentation fault. The most common causes are 1. Writing to a read-only portion of the memory. 2. Accessing an array out of bounds. 3. Using a variable's value as an address. 4. Dereferencing a null pointer. 5. Dereferencing or assigning to an uninitialized pointer, also known as wild pointer. 6. Dereferencing or assigning to a freed pointer, also known as dangling pointer. 7. Buffer overflow. 8. Stack overflow. Let's look at an example for each cause. In C or C++, one can accidentally write to a read-only portion of the memory by modifying a string literal. The compiler marks the variable of a string literal as read-only. Therefore, attempting to write to the variable will cause a segmentation fault. The array A's indices are from 0 to 9. Thus, accessing the 10th index of the array A will cause a segmentation fault because it is considered a memory access violation. An address of the variable n should be passed to the scan f function. Accidentally passing in a variable's value as an address could cause a segmentation fault. A null pointer usually points to an address that's not part of the process's address space. Therefore, dereferencing a null pointer causes a segmentation fault. A wild pointer is an uninitialized pointer, and it usually points to a random memory address. Therefore, dereferencing or assigning to an uninitialized pointer causes a segmentation fault. A dangling pointer points to memory that has been freed. Dereferencing or assigning to a dangling pointer similarly causes a segmentation fault. A buffer overflow occurs when a program, while writing data to a buffer, overruns the buffer's boundary and overwrites adjacent memory locations. For example, a variable s is declared to hold only three characters. When the program attempts to copy the string hello to the buffer of s, buffer overflow occurs, causing segmentation fault. A stack overflow occurs if the call stack pointer exceeds the stack bound. The most common cause of stack overflow is excessive deep or infinite recursion, in which a function calls itself so many times that the information associated with each call cannot all fit on the stack. In this example, the function foo, when it is invoked, continues to invoke itself, allocating additional space on the stack each time, until the stack overflows, resulting in a segmentation fault. I hope that knowing these common causes will help you prevent segmentation fault. That's it for me today. Computer signing off.